like uh yeah this thing's gorgeous dude this i think the strix is like the nicest one this gen for sure it the cooler isn't as good as the further win three but it, it definitely looks the nicest i think is this one so far and this one is binned better than my wife's strix that she has right now so i'm putting a big ski on this one double-sided big ski and i'm gonna give her this one as her daily driver because this one is binned really fucking well her other one is like average her other one hits 2100 you know what's funny about mining uh ethereum mining in general you can tell how good of a bin the card is through mining by how well it undervolts and how well the memory clock goes and shit it's really interesting like you can literally tell that's how i knew that mine was the best bin because of how well it mined like whichever card gets the most mega hash is like actually the best there we go but i like to take care of my shit i don't like to um i know people will say oh dude 100 celsius is in spec it's in spec micron did you guys see that micron updated their website to make it 105 now because they're sick and tired of the inquiries about it and i think gn did a video on it pretty sure how like it's fucking ridiculous to run memory chips at 105 and that's within spec don't ever do that don't do that don't don't listen to the fucking manufacturer the manufacturer puts a spec that means it will last just long enough to go through the warranty period that's what that means so you can assume that if you're running it at 105 celsius that long it's gonna last you exactly three years and then you're done skis never rush oh jesus christ dude that was rough that was rough maybe it was the putty okay look at that look at that this is actually fantastic here look at this look at this so look at the contact of the putty on all those ram chips now i'm assuming that's why it works so well and it kind of it kind of goes in between all of the ram chips it just fills all the gaps you know what i mean things that the thermal pad can't do right i'm assuming right but um dude when you use this putty under the thermal pad like this it drops insane temperatures so the the after like the the after part when i actually check the junction temperatures after when the video was up it's not really gonna be valid because it's like air cooler versus water cooler right so that's not gonna really be a good comparison but i still have to do this on my wife's 3090 strix that's actually in her rig so that one will be a much better comparison with the putty right so don't really pay attention to like i can already tell you the junctions are going to be like 60 celsius after i'm done this right so you can't really go by that so um what do you think about the Corsair Hydro X water blocks? I never tried one and they never made sense to me because they were way too expensive and they're not full cover water blocks, right? Like they have their VRMs and chokes cooled passively, right? The water block only goes over the, the memory and the core. So why would you pay? Because clearly Corsair makes margin on that shit. Why else would they do that, right? So why would you pay that much money for a Corsair product that's going to perform inferiorly, right? Inferiorly? Worsely? Perform worse. So, right? So why would... Like, that's why I never actually ended up getting one ever. There's no point. Not when there's Big Ski for cheaper with full cover blocks, right? I'm not saying it's a bad product. I honestly don't know because I haven't tried one, right? But I just... I wouldn't bother trying one. Because I can already tell exactly what's going on there. Corsair is a company of margins, man. Everything you get is gonna be margin based. So it's, there's always gonna be something better out there for less money. 
because Corsair's always looking for that way to make that little bit extra couple pennies on every sale, right? Here we go. This is okay. Let's see, what size pads do we need here? So it looks like half a millimeter on the chokes. Just like the other one. Half a millimeter on the chokes. It looks like the use the blue ones on the fets. Blue ones on the caps. And it looks like the gap is actually quite large on the memory chips. It's almost one and a half. What does your Discord offer that makes it exclusive? Um, not having idiots in it. That's it. That's literally it. That's fucking, that's completely it, dude. If you're an idiot, I ban you. That's what I can guarantee in that Discord. Yeah, I'm gonna do the chokes or the caps too, I think. And I don't want idiots to be in there. Idiots don't belong in there. That's it, man. That's all it offers. I keep telling people. I, dude, I, I have told hundreds of people this. If you don't feel like the discord provides you value or you get banned from the community or i don't like the i don't even if if i don't even like you i'm gonna ban you dude put it that way and what you have to ask yourself is oh i'll just join another community you don't have to be here just, just go somewhere else so the, if you have to ask what the so like oh what does that frame chasers discord provide that other ones don't i can already tell you you don't belong here dude because you're looking your brain is looking for what can i receive you're not gonna make it you're not gonna make it dude trust me just go somewhere else go somewhere else The people that are in there don't have to ask that question. They're there because they want to be there. They're there because they want to support what I'm doing. They're there because they want to play some games with other cool people. They're there so they can get information directly from me without having to go on YouTube and Reddit and stuff and find good answers. They're there because it's a chill place to fucking hang out right what does your discord provide that other discords do not provide nothing absolutely nothing my man don't join it's not for you not for you my friend it's for everybody else that's not you here we go that looks good that looks good oh shit zeesh murph zeesh murph you think Zeej Murph is asking what's fucking value he gets in the Discord, dude? Hey, Zeej Murph. What can I? No, no. How, how, how am I going to word this? Hey, Jufus. What do I get if I join your Discord? What do I get? What do you provide me? Why is it exclusive? nothing nothing absolutely nothing uh let me catch up here but like the the guy who's asking what do i get for your discord i can already tell i don't like that guy so as soon as you join i'm gonna ban you unless you provide some insane value to everybody else dude put it this way you have to pay to go into my discord and make everybody else happy 
Because if you don't, I'm going to ban you. That's how that works. Imagine that. Imagine having to make other people happy and not be a little dick. It's insane. Imagine that concept. Fucking crazy. Wait a minute. I have to be nice to people and like be friendly and make memes and shit. Like, oh my God. I can't just take value. This new day and age that we live in, man, is very strange. I feel like my parents raised me right or they raised me horribly wrong. I don't fucking know. Zeej Murph with 20 subs, my man. Zeej Murph. I know you weren't trying to be an ass man. Try I know, I know, trust me. Try it's just like, um, it, that, that's the kind of shit I have to deal with every day though. That's why I, that's why I'm like that. I know you aren't trying to be an ass. I'll literally get emails from people or like Twitter DMs being like, Hey man, can I DM you for some questions? I want to know if I can have a consult or not. It's like, just pay for the consult and answer your questions. No, 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 no. I want to make sure that I have all my questions answered before I order a consult. The fuck? Hey man, I want to answer. I want you to answer all my questions before I join the discord. What? Just get the fuck out of here. Just leave. Just leave. It's weird people. But to answer your question, though, the discord provides nothing, man. Nothing that you can't get anywhere else. It's just there's no idiots in there. And it's a community of people whose only interest is to get more FPS, not which brand is better. Not, hey guys, I bought this Asus monitor, so you guys should all buy this Asus monitor because I bought this Asus monitor. And if you buy a gigabyte monitor, you're a piece of shit. Like there's none of that shit. Which is fucking rare on the internet. Okay, so pretty much what I do is I spread it thinly with my fingers first. All right, just go all over that fucking shit. Kind of, it's kind of hard to work with a little bit. Kind of wants to stick to your finger. All right, and then I use a spatula after to even it out and flatten it out. This is just what I've been doing. I don't know. It, this works really good. Cool. This works really well. There we go. And people are like, what the fuck is this guy doing to his tricks? Trust. I don't do anything unless it works. Trust. Trust. Hang on. I'll show you the spatula part of it. It doesn't take too long. It's just hard to work with because it wants to stick everywhere, right? But it's not conducted, so it doesn't matter if it fucking gets everywhere. All right. There we go. God damn it. I had it better before. Okay. Okay. The spatula is where it stops sticking to your hand. And it's a little spatula that you get from like a thermal grizzly thermal pad kit or whatever. Any spatula will do. Okay, let me catch up on the chat quickly before I start this. Time for a test fit. Uh Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Sask. Like But it doesn't make sense how it would drop like 20. I think it might have to do with just like I think it has to do with how much pressure it applies on the thermal pad. So like a thermal pad gets more conductive the more compressed it is, right? But these thermal pads are so stiff that you can't actually go to the next half millimeter up. So like, if I used one and a half millimeter here, it would be too thick. If I use one millimeter, it's dead on. But maybe just having a little bit of putty on there just compresses it just a bit more to make it that much more thermally conductive right i think i think honestly i don't know i just know it works so when it comes to this kind of stuff i'm not really too interested on why it works it works shit works 
I'm happy with that, man. More FPS. Get back to teabagging shitties. You know what I mean? I got games to play. Yeah, this is correct. This is correct, Amundo. Uh, the bullshit meter Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Ever thought of using single stage coolers? Face. I have thought about it. But I draw the line at having to Vaseline and insulate the board. Then I'm like, fuck this. This is not worth it. Or I just don't care enough that, at that point. You know what I mean? Like, like, I, I would draw the line at when the maintenance of the PC takes away from gaming. I stop there. And even the tech cooler was starting to become way too much maintenance and taking away from my gaming. So that's why I just went back to regular water block, right? So if I have to, like, like, I don't find that stuff enjoyable. I know a lot of people do, but I don't, right? So if I have to sit there dicking around with a fucking chiller, phase change, Vaseline, insulate, check the insulation, check the fucking condensation. No, nah, man, that's, that's a lot of hours that I could be spending playing games. That's a lot of hours, dude. I don't have time for that shit. I like to play my games, dude. Dude, I played Overwatch for the first time last night in God knows how many months. And I had so much fucking fun playing that game, dude. I had a blast playing Overwatch last night. And you think I want to... Oh, no! I fucked that up. And you think I want to dick around with a fucking chiller and phase change and shit? Fuck that noise, dude. I accidentally hold it up there we go that's where i draw the line anyway anyway gaming comes first man i don't overclock for fun i overclock as a means to beat people in online games here we go that'll do don't care that'll do Just verifying contact here. Yeah, okay, we're good here. Now. Yeah, that's it. It's one mil. Yeah. So. It's one millimeter. Yeah. Like, like the standoff. The standoffs are barely not touching with one mil. So when I clamp it down, it'll clamp them. So it is one millimeter on both sides. Well, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, let's just make sure we clamp it. One and done. One final clamp. Hang on guys okay we're finally clamping this down and we're we're, we're done with this sh this screw hole doesn't have a oh so this one this one this one this one they all have screw holes this one does this one does this one does not i gotta find a screw for right here one that will actually fit in and sink in maybe this seems too big oh no there we go yeah all right well that, there we go done oh okay well that one's done yeah this one didn't have a screw hole okay thermal paste man yeah see look how messy my desk is now there we go See, look at look at the length of that now. It's much shorter, right? Water blocks are good for that shit. And I have access to um my wife needs these fan ports as well to control her case fans. So I control her case fans 
based on the GPU temp and I need this one header here to control her her case fans right so that's has the nice access to it right not covered off like the EK block right um and then check the check the length difference of that look at that shit about two inches shorter yeah about two inches shorter I would say overall length versus the stock air cooler so that's pretty good that's a pretty good space save there pretty good okay so my little uh my shit show here this is the 3090 strix here with the bixky block uh 280 mil radiator pump and then i got a further win three with an mp5 works over here so first i've been mining for an hour and a half and the memory temperatures on the bixky are 56 celsius so let's swap the monitor over here to the further wind three and it's been an hour and a half and the memory temperature is 62 so um i mean they're on the same loop but the bixky so the bixky seems like it performs six degrees celsius better than the mp5 works but they're both pretty much at 60 or under so moral of the story here it's the putty that's doing all the work here it's the it's it's the putty it's not the style of back plate that you're using it's all that putty baby it's the putty anyway guys if you like the content Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later.